If you were to fold a piece of paper in half 42 times, it would reach the moon. Here's why. Paper is surprisingly thin. Like, if you made a stack of 100 pieces of paper, it would only be about one-tenth of an inch thick. But when you start folding that paper in half over and over again, the thickness of the stack grows exponentially. After just 10 folds, you've got a tower that's almost 3 inches thick. Keep going, and after 20 folds, it's over 6 inches thick. And at 30 folds, it's more than double the thickness of your phone. But even though it's getting thicker, the area of the paper is actually getting smaller. That's because every time you fold a piece of paper in half, its area is reduced by half. If you kept going at 41 folds, the piece of paper would be about 8.5 kilometers long, which is about the length of 21 American football fields. And after 42 folds, it would be 17 kilometers long, which is just enough to reach the moon. Now, in reality, you can't actually fold a piece of paper in half that many times. There's a scientific reason for this, and it has to do with the way that the fibers in the paper are arranged. As you fold the paper, those fibers get stretched out, and they can only be stretched out so far before they break. But assuming that you could somehow make the fibers of the paper more flexible, according to some estimates, you would need about 48 folds to reach the moon. So, assuming we can do all of these things, how long would it actually take us to reach the moon? If we started folding the paper at one second after the Big Bang, it would still take us more than 27 years to reach the moon. So... Yeah, folding a piece of paper 42 times is pretty much impossible. But hey, we did it.